we are often reprimanded for using swear words it is nowadays used as colloquial slang what what is the big deal with using slang words when i casually use it without intent see uh, <clears throat> this happened a nice catholic girl got married and went after 3 days she called her mother and said mama i can't be here with this guy all the time he is using four letter words <laughs> then the mother asked what kind of four letter words is he using she said he is talking about cook clean wash iron <laughs> so what is wrong in using words essentially what you are calling as swear words is largely today we have our own swear words which are uh, very generic to our languages and uh, some are vulgar some suggest certain intentions some refer to our families and <laughs> uh, and some are just simply poking fun at each other kind but largely your swear words in english language that you use today are essentially picked up from america is either toilet or bedroom okay <laughs> i must tell you this this is way back many years ago someone a guest came from australia i am talking about nearly 40 years ago a guest came from australia and uh, i am supposed to take this person around in mysore you know mysore is a touristy place you're from bangalore huh? yes. it's a touristy place there are many places to see so i'm taking this person on my motorcycle if i if i ride hard i hear in my ears shit <laughs> then i think what if i break shit <laughs> they see something beautiful shit <laughs> if the the food is very spicy oh shit I was thinking, why this person whole day chanting shit like mantra? <laughs> I thought maybe constipated, trying to invoke. <laughs> Because what should be done in the morning, whole day, why are you dragging it through the day? <laughs> Then I observed, they're getting angry, shit, and they become little calm. Oh, then I thought, oh, it's working for them, I should not disturb this. Because I don't believe in disturbing anything that's working for anybody. If it's working, let's leave it. So, I just thought through this. See, we have look at the, looked at the whole science of uttering sounds in a powerful manner, what it can do to your consciousness, what it can do to your body, what it can do to invigorate your energy, many, many aspects of this. And then we say, Shiva! <laughs> with the necessary preparation if i make you utter this one sound you don't have to believe in any god or anything just the sound it will blow your brains out i can show you this then i thought sh 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 oh we arrived at it scientifically they somehow got it <laughs> in even in shiva it is only she which is the powerful part va is a dampener so that people don't blow up too much it's like to balance va is a va they put t <laughs> i thought it's okay it's working so why because usually when they say when they keep saying too often the t doesn't come they say shh <laughs> so even me when i say shiva The wa doesn't really come out, it's just shi. So I thought, it's okay, what does it matter? Then immediately some people got very... this thing, Sadhguru, you are saying Shiva and shit are same? <laughs> Highest and the lowest? I said, see, this high and low is all your business. But as far as your mind is concerned, in case your vocabulary is stored in an alph alphabetical order, Shiva and shit are close together. 
you cannot store Shiva here and shit here, you don't have such a capability. I don't know how it is stored in your mind. Suppose it's alphabetical, they are right next to each other, so you can't separate them. So the question is not about what is good, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong. The question is, will it work everywhere? If you keep shitting all over the place, is it going to work for you? <laughs> That's a question. So it's all right among young people, you're saying shit, shit everywhere. But now it's come to a man in United States, it's come. Even the top administrators are uttering these words just like that. In the international community, when they utter such words, it's finished in many things, in many ways, okay? Not because of anything else, simply because people are... You know, if you watch this, some of these American movies and stuff uh, and uh, stand-up comedians, they are making the whole sentence with one word. Yes? Whole sentence is just one word repeated in many different ways and they're elogizing that. I'm saying to develop or to evolve a complex language, it took such a long time, it taken thousands of years for human mind. One of the most complicated things that we have come up with as a civilizations in the world is language. Language is not a small thing. That way in India, <laughs> we have thirteen hundred languages. How much genius must have been there that right here you speaking Marathi, somebody speaking Telugu, somebody speaking Kannada, somebody speaking Konkani and for thousands of years though you lived side by side, you maintained your literature, they maintained theirs, like this they managed. This takes a certain level of genius to develop the language. Now a language which had hundreds and thousands of words, you want to reduce everything to one word and you think it's a forward step, I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you.